Meanwhile, the FIA stewards have decided Esteban Ocon should be given a five-second penalty for causing a collision. That, I think, goes along with what the FIA were saying from those guidelines. Uh, five pushing Be careful pushing behind Perez. One second. Yeah, yeah my, my car is broken, though. There. there, entry to turn four. Ooh. I said before, you got to get close to the wall. That's yeah. a bit too close. It's broke the... You can see the steering arm. Mm. That's... It's a bit like... You remember his crash in Monaco last year? Look at that. Probably Where, that. Yeah, you can there we see. go. Where he just glanced the armco on the front right. There is Nicholas Latifi, and he has gone a long, long way into the barriers. Taking the corner at about 106 miles an hour. Oh, took his hands off the steering wheel, and I'm not surprised either. I crashed, guys. Okay. Sorry. You okay? You okay, Nikki? Uh, yeah, I don't know how the rear just let go there. Yeah, I'm confident. Oh, Otmar! Oh. We'll just leave it there as Mick Schumacher hits the wall. Oh. Two tyres coming loose as he hit the wall as well. And that is the second red flag of this session. I mean, this is the first look and it's just... Yeah, there you go, on the curbs. On the curbs, yeah. Yeah, just on the curbs and lost it. I mean, you can see there's a, there's a lot of front end in the car, but... I mean, that's gonna, uh, he's gonna be a sore boy for a few days. And we've got a yellow flag because we've got a Williams into the barriers. And for the second day running, that Williams is Nicholas Latifi. And this could change dramatically, not just his race, but everyone's race, because that's gonna be a safety car. Oh, that is so unlucky. He's got on the power a bit early, hasn't he? And, uh, and had overstairs, the first time I've seen a car struggle with oversteer on an exit like that. A slow moving Williams of Alex Albon, he's been in a collision uh, with Lance Stroll. And we can see it going into turn one, Stroll turns in. Yeah, Lydia just dive on me. Well, that's going to be costly for both drivers and both teams.